From the point at which you drill the first drill hole until you're producing as a mine is typically 10 years, if not 15 years. We're at, I guess if you, if you called it a 15 year period, we're at year 13 because we're gonna be in commercial production in two years. So we've gone through that whole 13 year period effectively by inheriting this amazing mine that was the most, and remains the most prolific mine in the Silver Valley. Welcome back to the Stockpole Silver Symposium 2021 in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. We've got David Weens, he is the CFO of Bunker Hill. Bunker Hill Trades is BNKR in the CSE, BHLL in the OTC markets in the States. David, appreciate the time and we're here in uh, close to the Silver Valley anyway and who, who better to bring in here than Bunker Hill. Absolutely, so we're stopping by. appreciate it Rob and uh, it's a pleasure to be here and as you say, we're the hometown edition so we <laughs> definitely have to make a good showing and hopefully we have here. Yeah, well let's get into the story here. Uh, a lot of people know the mystique about Bunker Hill, uh, what happened in the past, we're restarting yep. this baby so I'm excited to hear the update. Why don't you, why don't you give us the, uh, the action? Yeah, the and, and there's a lot to update you on. So as you, as you referred to Mystique, and I think really once you break it down for people, they realize what an exciting opportunity this is. So the Bunker Hill mine produced for about 100 years, between 1885 and 1981, shut down for environmental reasons, not economic ones. Um, it was in a disaster at the time in the 1970s, so the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, um, effectively, EPA took over, cleaned it all up over 35 years. That ended about five years ago. Uh, fast forward to 18 months ago, a team parachuted in from Barrick, uh, so headed by the Chief Operating Officer of Barrick, Richard Williams, he's our Executive Chair. He brought with him a team, uh, Sam Ash, my boss, the CEO, who was running uh, Barrick's largest uh, scale mine in Africa, the Lamwana mine in Zambia, and Barrick's uh, former Head of Closure and Rehabilitation, Brad Barnett, and myself, and so we're a new team. We're putting a new spin on this thing. We're gonna restart it in a totally different way than was done historically, in a much more sustainable manner. Um, no more smelter, no more zinc plant. We're gonna have underground processing. Uh, we're raising project finance right now to get it back up and running, which we believe will be in commercial production in a couple of years, uh, and it's exciting. So we have, I mean, what we've inherited is a mine that produced for 100 years, but remains the shallowest mine in the Silver Valley, uh, and we only go to about 4,000 feet. We produced about 160 million ounces of silver during that period, and we believe there's a lot more below that. So again, it shut down for environmental reasons, not because there wasn't enough silver to mine. So uh, that's the exciting part as we go back in here. And, um, and we're getting started at a very low CapEx bill of about $45 million. And we're gonna be generating at current spot prices of metal about $35 million of cash uh, uh, per year. So. Um, considering we're at a market cap of about $25 million, um, certainly a pretty, pretty exciting opportunity. Yeah, you certainly uh, laid out a pretty uh, uh, good opportunity here for investors. So where would you say you're at in the overall cycle right now of, uh, of getting things back up and going? Oh man, I mean, you know, as you know, from the, from the point at which you drill the first drill hole until you're producing as a mine is typically 10 years, if not 15 years. We're at, I guess if you, if you called it a 15 year period, we're at year 13 because we're going to be in commercial production in two years. So we've gone through that whole 13 year period effectively by inheriting this amazing mine that was the most and remains the most prolific mine in the Silver Valley. So, you know, there's plenty of companies out there that have less resources than us that are 10 years away from production. And, and we're sitting here, you know, ready to go. Um, and so to, to illustrate that, we published, in fact, now two PEAs. So the first one we put back in April in the market, outlining $101 million NPV, 10-year mine life, $25 million of free cash flow a year. We always knew that there was upside to that. And sure enough, over the last five months, one of the things we've been doing is optimizing the mining method. And last week, we put out a press release upgrading the PEA, increasing the NPV 42%, lowering costs 30%, and that's what this team does. And that's what this team did at Barrick, and now we're doing it here at Bunker Hill. So that's the difference between us and, and, and certainly previous management teams on this asset, and we've got a lot to work with. So it's, um, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, certainly a, a new story to pay attention to. So the final question here, my, one of my favorite ones to ask you guys is a lot of opportunities out here. You're certainly different. You got to, again, you got the story, but uh, what makes you different? Well, why, why would people follow Bunker Hill or especially own it? You know, I think what makes us different versus a lot of companies is we are focused on getting into positive free cash flow. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of companies here, great companies, great assets, but for the next 10 years, you're going to see dilution upon dilution upon dilution. 
uh, and that's not what's going to happen here. We've got a low capital bill that to, to restart the, the, the mine. We're looking to do that in non-dilutive ways. And in two years, we're going to be, our, our destiny is going to be in our own hands. We're going to be generating tens of millions of, of dollars of free cash flow a year. Um, and that's really, at the end of the day, why do you buy a stock? I mean, from finance theory perspective, you buy one because you expect to get some returns on it, right? And so that's, that's what we're doing. We're focused on productivity, um, producing at the lowest cost, and uh, harvesting free cash flow so we can give it back to our investors and invest in further growth. So, uh, yeah. A lot to pay attention to. That's, yeah, no, that's it. All right, it's David Weens. He's a CFO, Bunker Hill, BNKR in the CSE, BHLL, and the OTC markets in the States. David, appreciate the time, and thanks for, uh, thanks for being here. Thanks, Rob, really appreciate it. You're a lanyard sponsor, so I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Had to do it. Thanks, Rob.